Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's reading, we're doing How Are You Being Remembered? And we have here three beautiful pals, pile number one with the white candle, pile number two with the red candle, and pile number three with the blue candle. And before you pause the video, I just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors today, Timu. Yay! And they sent me these beautiful candles. As you can see, look, as I lift this one up, it's so beautiful. It has like a heart design and I love it. And then we have like a scented candle here. So adorable. And also they sent me this pack of beautiful colored witchy candles to create spells or whatnot and these beautiful bracelets thank you so much timu and thank you so much for partnering with me today in this video so please pause the video if needed let's go so for the viewers that picked pile number one with the white candle let's find out how are you being remembered let's see how was my pal number one being remembered? So you're being remembered as someone that is very career focused, someone that's about their bag, about their education, about having all of their finances, their their um, successes lined up, or even just being a successful person. That's how you're being remembered right now at the moment. Um, you can also be remembered as someone that could be a little bit um, cold or um, the only thing that's really important for you is your money. So heavy virgo and capricorn placements here um you're being remembered as someone that does not move with their heart they're move that you move with your brain okay um you're someone that you are going to put energy towards everything that's going to help you grow glow and win okay and if the people around you are not doing that you're not the type to feel guilty about it this is the pile that's going to leave people behind that are not serving them this is the pile that's going to think about their pockets before they think about love whoa um this is coming in really really heavy um you are being remembered as someone that is very materialistic and, you know, I have a lot of materialistic cards. We have here the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups. We have even the Seven of Cups. It's like you're being very focused on your material success and your material items. You are being remembered as someone that... only cares about the exterior, only cares about how things make you look or how things, you know, this is the pal that could be remembered for being uppity or for, you know, um, thinking that they're better than everybody or even thinking that, you know, <laughs> that you feel like you're all that in a bag of chips. And listen, I'm, this is, this reading is no, no way to make anybody feel bad. Um, um, I don't really judge even the uppity people because God knows what they had to do to get to that level, okay? Um, and I just feel like once you're on a certain level, you know, you don't owe anybody um, to be humble or like you don't owe anyone sympathy. I don't know how to explain it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't feel like you are a bad person just because you view material items as, you know, a necessity or even like important. Like that is just your likes. Okay. Um, let's see here more information on, um, how my pal number one is being remembered. Okay. So we had a flyer here. So I have the two of swords here. You're being remembered as someone that's very imaginative, somebody that dreams big, somebody that um, has this world in their head, okay? You painted this picture of who you are and it kind of became true. 
You know what I mean? Uh, maybe you were always blamed for thinking like you're better, or like you're more important than anybody in your life, and it actually manifested into that. <laughs> Like, you acted a certain way, so you will be remembered as someone that acted a certain way and then they became that for real, okay? So, let's see here. How was my pile number one being remembered? How was my pile number one being remembered? And I'm not gonna lie, you are being remembered as being a snake. I think you've cut off a lot of people and I feel like this... Oh my god, and as soon as I said that three of cups... And I don't think that a lot of people take that very lightheartedly, especially since you became successful. You know what I mean? It's one thing for somebody to cut you off and be a loser. Like, okay, that's what they deserved. But it's a difference with somebody to cut you off and then become better than you. Okay? I feel like you really, really became better than a lot of people that maybe felt like they were better than you at, at some point. Okay? OMG, this is like really big T polymer one. I'm not gonna lie. Like, if this reading does not resonate for you, like, like for you being remembered as arrogant or you know, whatever. But with the five of pentacles that came in last, it really supported the fact that you know, you weren't always this person. You had to work for this, you had to work for this status, you had to work for your material success. So, you're not gonna let people make you feel like you're not deserving or it's no big deal, or you should still be below their standards, or you should still act like you're below them. You know what I mean? And I also get here like you did this all alone. Um, problem one is probably like shock, like who the hell are these people saying I am? When you know everything I've built, I've built it alone, sweat, tears. I built it on my own. Like, why people feel like they're entitled to my humility? Why are people entitled to the old me? You know what I mean? Um, the Three of Cups upright. So you're also being remembered as a party person. You're being remembered as someone very sympathetic, somebody very popular. Maybe somebody that um used to hang out a lot or somebody that knew a lot of people. Or you were well known, okay? But again, with this Two of um Pentacles next to the Page of Cups... In the reverse, you know, like, I got it like this, you know, so you guys can see it. But it's like, you know, you had to decide whether, you know, is this the life that I want? Is this the people that I want to surround myself with? Like, what do I want for myself? And is it adding up to what I'm doing? You know what I mean? And... I think a lot of people remember you to be a little bit snobby for walking away from them because you kind of became who you were meant to be all right and maybe it's coming out of jealousy maybe it's coming out of okay um who the hell they think they are now but you are getting a lot of that pile number one i'm not gonna lie you're getting a lot of who the hell do they think they are and i'm getting the feeling here like you don't deserve this. You don't you don't deserve to be remembered by that. Because I feel like you were someone that really did not have it like that. And you're coming across as like this big cheater, this big one upper, this, you know, let me put the leg up front so people won't come up and you know I definitely feel like it's the opposite. I feel like you've welcomed people to your table but they just didn't want to sit down. You know what I mean? It's like those people that they're so happy to be with you, to be around you, to support you until you're better than them, until you're doing better than them, until you're escalating, until you look better than them. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And now I'm the bad guy because I'm doing things better for myself. So that's the energy that I'm getting here. I feel like you're, you're being remembered as someone you're not because people are not taking it lightly that you're successful. There are some people that are viewing you in this charismatic, this fun, you know, I heard hippie, like I heard like, you know, cool person that was very fun to be around. But um, the majority are viewing you like a one-upper. They're viewing you as someone that will do anything to gain success, that would even, you know, push the people away around them. For success, you know. Some people might have felt like you left them behind for no reason. Maybe you you had your reasons, okay? Maybe you had 99 reasons, but to them it was none, okay? Um, that's what I'm getting here. 
Emperor at the end of the deck. Real boss. Ooh. And it fell. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. I was going to pick up more cards, but I just felt like since these cards already fell out, I'm going to just take them. But it just makes a lot of sense. We have here the Emperor. And it's giving very, like, bossy. And listen, you don't have to own a business. You don't have to be a content creator. Just the fact that you got your shit together, that you are now happy, that you got away from what's not, what was not bringing you peace or happiness, that itself is bossing up, okay? Being in charge of your life. And I always say this here, you don't have to be an actual boss to have emperor energy all the time. Just the way that you move and the way you put yourself first makes you a boss. So we have here the five of cups up, right? Yes, they're remembering you as something that fell apart, something that left, something that, you know, maybe left them when they most needed you. Um, I think... People are remembering you in a time where they felt like they were a victim. We have here the Eight of Swords. Yes! Like, they felt like they were a victim, like they're stuck in their head about you. You're being remembered for... You're being remembered as a trigger for a lot of people. For a trigger. Um, we have here the Star, okay? You're, rem you're being remembered as someone that had dreams that kind of grew or someone that planted seeds and continued or became consistent in what they wanted to do with the queen of cups here i get the feeling like also you're being remembered as someone very charismatic again it's coming up again um communication somebody that that was very funny very good with their tongue someone that you know people could have really trusted you or even had a lot of conversations with you that they will never forget, okay? You could have been someone very encouraging. You could have been someone supportive. You could have been a really, a really, really good friend. But maybe you realized that maybe your friends and family weren't as good to you. And, and I keep hearing the word trigger. You are a trigger in a lot of people's memories because it reminds them of their lack and how they couldn't, you know, be a better version of themselves how they couldn't come up for themselves how they couldn't show up for themselves but you did and now the work is showing the work is showing whether it's your happiness your stability your work your hard work is showing your education whatever it is that you had going on for you is showing pile number one and i think it's a little bit triggering and i feel like these people are remembering you in ways where they were the victim in the story i'm so sorry but i i told everyone here that there is some people in this group that are kind of reminiscing on the good times that you guys had. The parties, the get-togethers, the sleepovers, the meetings, whatever um, fun times you guys had. So there's some that are remembering you as a good person. But then there's some people that are not. it's just so funny to me it's like it's given like yeah they got this yeah they're that yeah they're that but you know it's like the but at the end of a good compliment so it's like you know people are remembering you to be very creative and with the justice card being successful in it so even if it's not a creative plan it was like a dream plan or it was just a plan in general but people are remembering you for being successful at a plan Okay, and people are also remembering you to be very strong. Uh, maybe you stood up for yourself a lot. Maybe you were strong and diligent in what you had to do in your life or committed in the things that you had going on in your life. But again, it's like this trickery type of energy at the end. It's like people are remembering you to be like this trickster, this one-upper, this, you know, um, this user, you know, let me use this person and their ideas and just move along with them. Um, I think there's someone here in this energy that feels like they gave you the idea of whatever you got going on. And you just no longer speak to them. It could be true. Because, you know, people watching me here, you guys, we all make mistakes. And I'm aware of that. Like, we're not all perfect. I've had my faults in the past. But someone here feels like you took their idea and ran with it. Or, you know, they inspired you and you left. 
or they supported you and you left them in the dust or not even so you took their company for granted and then you became better like you made them feel like a loser and you left them behind and then now you became all this <laughs> but at the end of the deck we got here the lover at the end of the day people can victimize themselves through your success but at the end of the day we got to we got to keep it real here and the real is that you were always a good person you were always a good person and maybe you had your reasons to leave people behind or your other family whatever um but you are a good person. You're being remembered for all the love that you've shown to others, even those that are not around you today. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for clicking on this reading. Bye, guys. Oh, wait a minute. And that, let's not even forget the, the white candle for this group. Like, it's just purification here. Purifier. Like an angel. Like, you know, um, a light detector. Like, you... You had a big light, and I feel like whoever didn't follow that light just got left behind. Whoever that light affected or shed it on the darkness just got left behind, and that's it. Or they felt targeted or intimidated, and that's on them, right? So that's all, guys, for sure. Bye. So for the viewers that picked pile number two with the red candle, let's find out how are you being remembered, and... I get a lot of beauty with this red candle. I get a lot of like sexiness, essence, facial features, just beauty in general for this pile. So let's see what we got. So let's see here. How is my pile number one being remembered? I mean, two. You could have been attracted to one. So, pile number two, this is a little bit deep. So, I got here the Five of Swords in the reverse, the Knight of Swords in reverse, Page of Wands in the reverse, Five of Cups upright, Two of Cups, the High Priestess in reverse, and then the Nine of Wands. So, you're being remembered. Oh my God, guys, you got to understand this energy right now is feeling a little bit tense. Um, you're being remembered as someone very loyal, as someone very down to earth humble someone that's been through a lot some someone that um people have seen go through a lot so yeah someone that's been through a lot a lot of challenges a lot of people going against them seven of wands at the end of the deck this is heartbreaking i feel like a lot of people remember you and they feel bad they feel bad in some sort of way um, maybe because you went through a lot of hardships. Maybe because you had people around you go against you. Maybe because you've always been so loyal. People always rem um people also remember you to be a good partner. So if you were in a relationship or a marriage for a long time, or you've always been in relationships or whatnot, people remember you to be very loyal or a really good boyfriend or girlfriend or wife or husband. People remember you for not always being aware of who's around you. For being naive and not knowing people's true intentions around you. It's given like people knew other people weren't the best for you, but they probably kept it quiet or minded their business. Um, this is a pile that people remember to be very disappointed or have gone through the blues or things that didn't go their way or a lot of hardships or a lot of hard work. Kind of feel bad for you through how people remember you. Um, just know if you feel like people overlook the things that you went through, just know that a lot of people were aware of it. And maybe this happened in school or when you were younger. Um, people look back and they feel really bad. People feel bad for their words. People feel bad for what they've said. People feel bad for what they've heard. People feel bad for sometimes not even standing up for you. Okay, so if you ever um, think about that, that maybe, you know, it wasn't no big deal, whatever you went through, yeah. Family, friends, classmates, they feel like, you know, maybe they should have 
spoken up. Maybe they should have said something. Maybe, you know, they should have been there for you. Maybe they should have never isol isolated you the way that they did. Or they should have never put you in a corner. Or maybe they could have been honest, okay? So when people remember you, some people remember and feel instant regret. Damn, pile number two. I just hope you're doing well emotionally right now and mentally and everything, okay? Because this is coming very, very tough, very messed up. And maybe you feel like your emotions were disregarded, but there's a lot of people living in regret because of you. And some people are ashamed of their actions or ashamed for the ways that they didn't stand up. Some... You have people feeling guilty, pal, too. Whether it was because of sexual abuse or mistreatment, bullying, um, talking trash behind your back when all you were was a given hand. When you were loyal and people mistreated or judged you harshly, people regret that. People regret it. I heard don't let don't think that people got away with what they did to you and that their own minds are not at war with them. This ain't no karma reading, pal, so this is how people remember you. And hey, it's not listen, it's not my fault people feel regret every time they think about you. Okay. Um this could even be like old lovers, exes, you know, ex partners, um, that did you really wrong. Um, I think that just remembering you Makes them feel guilty or like they're a bad person. Okay, please, let's get some whoo, some good energy after this. Um, so let's see here. How do people remember my pile number two? How do people remember my pile number two? How is my pile number two being remembered? How is my pile number two being remembered? I knew this had like a resemblance with pile number two in a little bit. Um, I feel like pile two, um, maybe some of you guys have gained a little bit of success. Maybe some of you guys have gained a little bit of um, self-esteem and confidence and, you know, self-love. Okay, success can mean so many different things for so many people. Happiness within, peace of mind, whatever it is. Um, finances. I feel like people are remembering you as someone that got it out the gutter, someone that got out, somebody that changed their own life or their own destiny. Um, they also remember you to be a hard worker, somebody that was about their money, somebody that worked a lot, somebody that you know liked to study a lot, that got it done, whatever. But also remember you as someone that's been through a lot emotionally. Um, someone that suffered, someone that um, maybe felt incomplete, someone that maybe was depressed and people overlooked it. And now that they look back at it, they're like, damn, Paul number two was, was depressed. We have here the three of swords in reverse with the queen of wands in the reverse. People also remember you to be someone so beautiful, but you just didn't recognize it yourself. Um, I think a lot of people remember you to be very beautiful, very um, exotic looking, um, and maybe in a way where you were probably attacked for it. Um, people remember you for being picked at for being very beautiful or for having unique looks. And people also remember you for being someone that did not know how good you looked. Maybe you let a lot of things slide because maybe you did not know your beauty or maybe you did not know how powerful and magnetic you actually were. I also get here that a lot of you guys are also being remembered as someone that has a happy ending now. Something about a happy ending. Maybe you got kids now, a family. Um, you have people that support you. Maybe you have like a, a small circle of friends and family, but they love you 100,000%. Okay, so that's for some, not all. People also remember you as someone that took risks, um, took a lot of risk, um, kind of took yourself out of your comfort zone, did a lot of things that not a lot of people would do. How are you being remembered? Let's see, more cards.
People remember you to be very mean to yourself. Page of Swords next to the Queen of Swords. Um, people remember you for being very mean to yourself or sticking with things that you didn't have to. Nine of Wands with the Two of Pentacles. Um, sticking with people that had you as options, okay? Um, um, being recognized as the bad person in the story because you didn't want to defend yourself or clear up a situation. People could have remembered you to be the bad guy in a lot of stories. Um, maybe because you didn't care to clear it or maybe because it was just so much against you that people started to believe it. So this is like the power where maybe people will gang up on you and they will probably make you out to be like this big monster or like this, you know, crazy individual when in reality it was like really, really far from what they've thought. People also could have remembered you to, very, to be very book smart or someone that read a lot of books or someone that was very academic, very academically smart or intelligent. People could have also remembered you to have a lot of options in love, like knowing a lot of people liked you or had crushes on you or wanted you. So that's how you're also being remembered for having like a long line of s like suitors and like people that want to get with you and people that want to show you love. People also remember you as someone that changed a lot. There's something about you that looks very transformative, whether it was like your body your facial features or who you are as a person. Because I feel like maybe people see you now or whatever, whoever knew you back then. And they remembered you for someone very different than who you are now. Like, um, they see you now and they're probably shocked or like they feel like they, they saw a ghost because it's not really who they thought you were. Last couple of cards on how my pal number two is being remembered. Last couple of cards on... How my pile number two is being remembered. You're being remembered as someone that um, was very popular or even got some sort of success after isolating themselves. I heard disappearance. And I also heard triggered in the beginning. I feel like your memory triggers a lot of people because it maybe makes them feel bad of who or how they treated you or who they were back when they knew you. Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're being remembered as someone that was in, in a lot of people's minds for a lot. I feel like also you like sparked a lot of growth in other people that you're not aware of. Um, there's a lot of people in your past or, you know, family, whatever, people that were around you that you kind of like triggered some sort of growth within them because of the way that they've treated you or the way that they saw you in some sort of way. I'm not going to lie, Paul number two, this is a group that is in a lot of people's minds and a lot of people's heads. That's what I think that you are successful now, but I feel like the success was kind of like expected like you know they were expected to be the successful or have successes in life because they went through this and this and that uh people did this and this and that to them um this and this happened to them a lot you know um they went through a lot they kind of deserved it okay so people kind of like expected your success a, a lot of people kind of knew you were going to be successful or like you were going to be somebody just because of the fact that you went through a lot or a lot, you know, a lot of things went against you. Okay. A lot of things made you the main target. And I feel like you are a walking lesson for a lot of people. And that's how they remember you like a walking lesson. And that's crazy. I'm so sorry you had to go through things to teach other people's, you know, their valuable lessons or whatever in life. But that's how it's looking here, pile number two. You are a walking karma, a walking lesson for a lot of people. So that's what I'm getting here today. So that's all for today. Bye, guys. So...
For the viewers that picked pile number three with this blue candle, how are you being remembered? I feel like very outspoken, someone that wasn't scared to stand up for themselves and others. Someone very smart, um, someone very good with their tongue or their comebacks. Um, just not a pushover. This pal is giving me someone that's being remembered as like a fire. Someone not to be reckoned with. I don't know why I heard that. But let's see here. I even heard fashionista. <laughs> let's see here. How was my pal number threes? being remembered how are they being remembered Yeah, you're being remem remembered as very extroverted. Um, someone that didn't really um, play around. Okay, we have here the strength at the end of the deck. This is someone very strong, very feared. I'm not going to lie. You're being remembered as someone that a lot of people were fearful of or even scared of. Okay, we have here the three of cups. You're also being remembered as someone very good to hang around with. Um, someone that's a good friend. Someone that, you know, you can party with and also cry on, okay? Someone that you can count on, okay? You're being remembered as someone that people can count on. Someone people can be inspired of as well. But also someone that cannot be played with. Queen of Wands in reverse. Someone that cannot be messed with. Um, the King of Wands in reverse could be a little bit nasty. Um, if they have to, though, of course. Because just how creative they are. It's how creative that tongue of theirs are, okay? People remember you for putting them in their place, okay? And people also remember you for being really well-dressed or someone that really took care of themselves, okay? People also remember you to be very responsible with, you know, your life and what you got going on and what you got to do. Seven of Wands here in the reverse. Yeah, you really did not settle for anything. People remember you as someone that would stand up for themselves. Someone that was not scared to say what everybody in the in the room was thinking. Okay, so very outspoken. I feel like you never held your tongue for anybody. I don't think you were always like this, though. I feel like people also remember you for being someone very passive to being someone aggressive, okay? Um, and <laughs> this is crazy because I feel like maybe in the beginning you were a pushover, but with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like something in you switched. And it's like even the people that felt like they could, they could play with you, one day they woke up and were like, who the hell is this? Who the hell is this person? This is not the same person. So from what they remember of you, you kind of changed in their memories. You kind of changed. It's like one day you did a switch and you were like, yeah, not, not anymore. Not anymore. You can't play with me. I don't care how close we are. And I'm also getting the sense here. People are remembering you of like, they're remembering you for being the one that was bullied to the bully and maybe you were not like the biggest bully like they're exp maybe you were hey i don't know but that's what i'm getting here people are recognizing this switch in attitude but it's definitely not a switch that they did not see coming because whatever it was i feel like you were being crossed a lot maybe people crossed your boundaries maybe people felt like they could just do you however they wanted okay because you were always going to be there with the three of cups you were always going to be there to be their friend their their family their helper let's see here how is my pal number two being remember i mean three but you could be attracted to two how is my pal three being remembered how is my pal three being remembered
you're being remembered as someone that was very happy, someone that made others happy, someone that had a very light mood. I feel like you wouldn't bring your problems to work or to school or to gatherings. Like you were, if you had problems, you will leave it at home. Um, you will come with a different mask, with a different energy, personality. Like you weren't the one to take your anger out on others. Like you could be going through hell and people remember you as being someone that would act like it's not even happening. Okay, so we have your Eight of Cups in the reverse next to the Empress. Um, people are remembering you as someone that is a ride or die. Like, um, you could have been someone that was very loyal to those around you. I feel like you were not a shit talker as well. People remember you to be very honest, but also very caring about other people's feelings. The person that, you know, maybe you're talking and everyone ignores you. And it's just that one person that keeps listening to you. It's like you were just extremely good, extremely kind in this group. And people also remember you for something that has to do with pregnancy. Maybe that you ha you got pregnant with twins or you had a miscarriage. There's something about people remembering like a pregnancy with you. And if that's not the case, people remember you for building some sort of business, whether it was like a like an esthetician business or like a jewelry business, something like that. Yeah, and people remember you for going through moments in life where you could have been very depressed, like maybe the death of a person, the death of a child, something very heavily. But it's like with the Queen of Cups, it's like they never really saw you sweat about it. They never really saw you um, being in the dumps or taking it out on other people with the fool. And it's like you kind of reinvented yourself through every hardship or a bad chapter in your life, you kind of reinvented yourself, you know? In a moment where people took advantage of you or, or felt like you were a pushover, you lifted yourself up and told them, mm -mm, that's not me, okay? So this group is very transformative here. I feel like people also remember you for having a lot of phases or changing a lot, changing a lot of routines, changing personalities, changing hair, changing your looks. But something that never changes here that I get, that I keep getting here is how good of a person you were, how kind, bubbly. Um, you were just always able to make people forget about their problems. You just being there, okay? And I feel like you played a good role. You played a, like a major or a really good role in other people's lives because you taught them that even through the biggest hardships. You should never you should never carry it with you because it's not who you are. Okay? It's not you. All right. If anything, you should just go with the flow with what life throws at you. You know, if pal number 3 was, you know, able to go through a divorce and and losing a family member at the same time, I think I'll be fine. I think I can go through this. So not only was your pain like a catalyst for change within yourself, but it also was like seen through other people around you, okay? A lot of people saw how you got over things, how you were able to push through as a single parent for some that are watching, not all. And it's like all the little bad things, well, the things that you might think are bad in your life, you kind of taught others how to get through it. So in a way, a lot of people remember you for being someone that taught them something, whether it was good or bad or how to keep your head up, how to, you know, transform yourself for the better, how to be a lovable person, but also have your limits in a healthy way. So I'm not going to lie, this pal, you're very educational. Your life has been very educational for others around you. Okay, so don't ever think that people are not watching because people are watching and taking notes when it comes to you, pal three. And you can be someone older in your life or, you know, you can be someone wiser beyond your years. But let me tell you something. Even the people your age take notes. Even the people that are growing, um, that are younger than you are taking notes. So people of all ages are taking notes on who you are as a person or who you were and they remember you as someone that taught them a lot or even showed them a lot about life, okay? And 
people also remember you for being someone very like non-judgmental or someone that can judge someone in a very nice way. Like you 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 could be the type of person that you could tell someone they're wrong in the nicest way possible or like putting yourself in their shoes, all right? It's just the way you talk. It's just so soothing. It's so motherly. I feel like every time people remember you, they have good memories. And they also think about a time where they felt like you were some way, but you weren't. It's like you easily, and I got the fool here, you can, you easily fooled a lot of people for the way that they thought you were, okay? You have like a, like, um, like a talent with that. Like, you know, somebody might think you're all casual and you keep to your stuff and the whole time you're someone that teaches other people's lessons or you're someone that people could learn from. Same thing with, like, being a pusher. People might think that, you know, because you have this sweet tone and, you know, this gentle this gentle aura, like, people could take advantage of you. And then you quickly show them, hell no. I don't know who the hell you thought I was. <laughs> it just gives very eye-opening. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, people remember you for getting over things really quickly. Um, heartbreaks, heartaches, deaths, misfortunes. And you can sit here and say, no, um, there's things that I'm still going through. I didn't get over this and that. But you got a really good way of hiding it. You have a really good way of hiding it, honey, because it's just like people remember you as someone that just takes everything with such ease. Like so classy and so like lighthearted um and you could have been crying at home or depressed or going through a lot in your own space but it's just a way that you could just stand up and you know live with your head up high kind of showed others you know if they can do it i can do it if they can get over it i can get over it i heard the devil next to the king of swords Um, people remember you to be someone that did not become what you went through. Whatever you went through could have made, could have, you know, should have made you into someone cold or nasty or even someone, you know, that would have to go, you know, do drugs and stuff like that. But it's it's like you know, it didn't change who you were. Maybe you came from a very unstable family or family that didn't stick with each other family that abandoned you like something you're abandoned and you know they remember you as someone that could have been through the worst things in life and still you know became a good person or still outdid or outproved you know the statistics or outproved those around them it's something about they remember how your challenges did not make you who you were supposed to be I feel like a lot of people, in a way, when they remember you, they feel bad, but they also feel empowered. They also feel inspired, okay? Your story, when people remember you and who you are, it, it makes them want to go after their dreams. It makes them feel like they can go, they can do anything or they can become any anybody they want to be because they saw how, you know... Again, a rose growing out of concrete. How someone like you flourished and grew and grew and became so lovable and even sympathetic to others around you. Last couple of cards on how my pile number three is being remembered. Yeah. Uh, people remember you. We have here the Two of Cups next to the High Priestess in reverse. Of, you know, being very disappointed or in love or being shown things that you never expected. But it can also be here um, that you guys 
fell in love in like a, in a hopeless place. So people might take your relationship or your marriage as like an inspiration as well. Because maybe, you know, you weren't supposed to be with the person you married. Something like that came up. You weren't supposed to be with someone. Or you weren't supposed to do something because of a religion or a cult. With the world, you know, next to that, it's like having the world go against you, but still pushing through. Or having the odds against you, but still um, becoming who you needed to become. Or who you were meant to be, regardless of your culture, your religious background, um, distance, okay? So if that didn't, you know, if that didn't resonate when it came to the family part, maybe for the love part, maybe you married someone you weren't supposed to. Or you, something in the love department is off. That maybe people felt like was off, not me, people felt like it was off, but you went, you went through it, you sticked with it. You went against the grain and you still became successful. You still became happy with the peace of mind, with someone that loves you, okay? You went against the odds, and even if the odds went against you, you still pushed through, you still became happy, and you put your happiness before anything. So again, when people remember you, they remember of their own happiness. They remember how happiness is the most important thing regardless of the guidelines and the rules that society placed over our head. Um, you know, sticking with family that don't love us. It's just like, it could be like a numerous amounts of situations. But the main key here is that you inspire others to just do what they want to do. And also how to get over things and how to get through with things. And if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for clicking on this reading. Bye, guys.